Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Warlem77 here, and I'm back with another random run in the Binding of Isaac. I'm not going to explain the character we have, because I'm not quite happy with the character. And I give up on that. Anyways, playing as Eve, like I already said, not happy with that choice. Because, look at this. Oh, that penny is nice, but... It takes two shots to take down a black fly. What's up with that? No other character has that kind of awful damage. It's just it makes me feel bad for Eve. Like how am I supposed to get anywhere if I can't even kill a black fly in one shot? It's pretty sad. Oh really? That shouldn't have had enough range. What is this, a curse of the lost floor here? It's pretty big already. I'd like one bomb, please. Just one. Well, let the bad times roll. Not a very good first item. Charm of the Vampire. I did pick it up, but... In some cases, uh, I won't even pick it up, but just kind of leave it there. But, you know what, it's going to help me for now. So I might as well pick it up and hope it does help me out just a little bit. At least that's the hope. Could Something could go wrong. But that is unlikely at this stage of the game. Well, that's a good thing that happened. Getting the Emperor card, but it's a little early for that to be honest. Because if I really want to make a good use out of it, I'm going to have to take it through all the other floors, leaving all of the tarot cards behind. And I was really hoping for a bomb. Just can't quite get one. That's a little bit too bad. Off to the boss room. Yeah, I don't need that heart. Okay, if it was Duke of Flies, I definitely would have had some trouble, but luckily for me, it's not the Duke. It's just good old Monstro, and I can deal with Monstro. Even as Eve and her pitiful damage, it's just going to take a little bit longer than normal. But it is possible. Duke of Flies, I'm not even sure. It's kind of crazy what they expect you to do. If you fight the Duke of Flies first. Unless you have any bombs, which I don't. Then it would have been a lot more possible. Just keep going. Keep doing those nice little 90 degree turns. Watch out for those extra shots. Okay, yeah. Let's let that bird do most of the work, apparently. Take an HP upgrade few red hearts to get back to full health and yeah I'm gonna move on things I need bombs and keys and lots of other stats upgrades so the more of those the better this pill could give me a stats upgrade and it did it was actually tears upgrade one of the better ones if you ask me I just still take three shots. That's also pretty sad. I really want to bomb in this room. Because there's a tinted rock there. I'd love to check that out. Oh, oh, say hello. A penny? Really? Am I ever going to get a bomb? Or even a key for that matter? I've been so wrapped up in bombs that I've forgotten all about the keys. Point pin right away. Figure to give me a better shot for a deal with the devil. And if pin drops an HP upgrade, there's a very good chance that I can make one of those deals. Because let's be quite honest here. If you don't get some damage some way, you're not gonna make it too far as Eve. There's definitely different ways to try and get your damage, but the Elf Devil is one of them. It's 
one of the better ones. It's maybe I should say one of the more consistent ways to get extra damage. And I know I've been taking it a lot, but I think I am going to take a big risk and go with Brimstone here. Knock me down to only one heart container. But on the plus side, got Squeezy and two extra soul hearts. So I'm really banking on those to last me a while. So much so that I'm not going to go to the curse room for a bit. It's a bit risky. Come on, one bomb. Actually, yeah, bomb or a key at this point would be great. Either or, just not pennies. Enough with these crappy pennies. And that really is it. No bombs, no keys, only money. Well, Missing out on an item room is never a good thing, but looks like I'm going to have to do it. So, let's get it over and done with. Get that ever happened. And hopefully have a good caves part one. So far, so good. If that was a key, or if this is a key, well, it's a bomb pretty close I'm still upset and of course I need a key to open that not like in the way these consume consumables are dropping because they're not really dropping at all that's fantastic but still looking for one of those awesome keys especially now since I found the item room no? Well, I'll fight the boss again. Champion peep. Make sure I use those rocks for extra defense. He was really rolling in on me there. That's okay, just stay, stay cool. Yeah, you're just gonna stay in your same spot, because you're dumb. That's okay, you can just be a dumb. Oh, he smartened up. Watch out. Second eyeball time. Yeah, second eyeball is going to come out right there. So, final stretch of the fight. Both eyeballs are out. Oh, he's there. Wasn't quite sure where he's jumping. That was an extremely close call. One more shot should do it. Well, let's really hope that. This blue pill here is a good one. Tears down, that does hurt. Telepills, okay. Interesting. Oh yeah, the champion comes and says hello. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But at least I got a bomb from him. Pill says, health upgrade, fantastic. Don't think I had any more of those in the mom's bottle of pill ow in the mom's bottle of pills but hey at least I got one I think technically it also could have been an health downgrade but since I only had one heart container it changed itself to a health upgrade if I'm not mistaken that's possible and to use the bomb here to blow this up but maybe I can achieve obtaining a key through different means uh, let's use that okay that's why I did this early just to save some money is it a true HP upgrade no it was a health downgrade okay so the bad news is I'm stuck with a health downgrade. Good news is I got a key and also that I was my little theory was correct. I've sort of given up on shop items at this point. So let's play that a little bit 
and yeah, no sense in really going to the shop unless I think there's greed in there. I don't want to risk my only bomb for it. And I'm actually going to get an item here. Most items will be good for me. Range upgrades, not good. Sacrificial dagger. It's good for damage, but I'm not actually sure if it blocks shots, so... That's a question mark there. This pill says... Mystery. A luck upgrade, okay. I'll take my Emperor card and continue to the next floor. Hopefully finding another key and some extra health along the way. Back to the money train apparently. And one more here. No. Oh, he managed to get up again. Okay, so running into them in the goop state does hurt. I was never quite sure of that. But now I know. So I should try and remember. I'm not going to go back there. That's a little too scary for me. Let's fight the boss. It's Champion Fistula. I actually prefer the Champion version. Just because it makes all the crowd control a bit easier, I find, since it doesn't break up into as many parts. Oh, but when it spawns red ones, that's not good. Bomb ones are better, that's what I'm looking at finding. And one more burst should do it. Never mind. Two more. Sure, speed upgrade, why not? And I'm gonna roll. I think it's time to take the big risk and do that. Take the pact. So I think I have the damage that I want for the run. Like, I could go the rest of the run with this kind of damage and be fine. But the trick here is to stay alive and find some HP upgrades somewhere. I have speed that I can give up for HP upgrades. I have, there's lots of stuff that I would do for them. I would open up golden chests, but don't have any keys. So that's going to be a bit of an issue at this point. Okay, easy now. This is going to be tricky. Unless I do that. Key, fantastic. Okay. Let's see just how tricky this will be. Never mind, I can kind of sneak by the edge there. See, this is why I don't really want to take the upper. Oh. This is why I don't really want to take the Emperor card, because there's other good cards which will be useful sooner. I'm not really if, sure if sooner is the right word, but it'll be it's almost just as useful. Bombs are key, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this plays out in the end game, but I think I'm going to stick with the devil card here. Check out. Oh, that's bad. I want to pick it up and put it back down, but I just have to pick it up. I can't put it back down. Just remember to never use it. And like I said, I will be opening up some golden chests. Oh, that one's not worth it. I was definitely hoping be finding an HP upgrade in there. This is going to be crucial to dodge those guys. Because I don't want to lose more than a quarter of my health right away. Okay, the range on that homing one is incredible. Did take one hit. 
unfortunately. Oh, almost two. That's not going to be useful. Yeah, I think I only have one bomb. I was going to say, I think I'm going to look for the secret room, but not anymore. I'm just going to take what I got and move on to Necropolis XL, of course. Just give me the absolute hardest floor that I can find at this point. Because you know I have good enough health to deal with it. Such a smart game. Game is some. Game's pretty stupid sometimes. Okay, easy now. Getting rid of the Leaper. This clears up a lot of space and stuff I have to worry about. Gets a little bit. The room gets a little bit slower from there. Nice start and good finish. Free penny is nice. I know. I guess I, one thing I could do is just try and wait to pick it up to see if I ever get flat penny, but not that patient. I have half decent patience, but not that good. Actually, stocking up on some bombs. Not a bad thing. Oh, that guy turned the right way. That was tricky. I'll take a brother Bobby. Not great, but like I said, I'll take it. Okay, close call there. Nobody really went the way that I wanted them to. Well, I'd like to find one more key, preferably two, to open up a golden chest there. But, quarter means, let's go to the shop, it's shop time. Oh, these guys have a lot of health. I'm always uh, just amazed by how much health these guys really do have. Want a few fancy dodges, fancy footwork, and you can get the room done. If I ever desperately need a key, I can go there, use a bomb for it. Okay, Brother Bobby, calm down. Got a little ahead of yourself. Oh, sure. Of course that's gonna happen. At least I gained a soul heart on that last room for free. Anything but greed in there, and I'll be happy. I'll oh, lose a full soul heart, why don't you? Easy now. No sense in cheating. No, don't want to give me more health. That's fine, I guess. I also have to survive on my own. And one more. That's wonderful. Back to the same amount of health I started as when I first took the pact. And I'm going to waste no time in getting to the shop. Just pick up that key there and moment of truth. Well, I can buy a compass. I can buy soul hearts. And I guess I'll buy a key also. I would like to buy the pill. I think I've seen it before. And it was a tears upgrade. And one way I can get enough either enough money or a steam sale is through fighting greed. So let's do that. One more shit okay, that was a bad one, but it was close to death. Uh, if it's only a tears upgrade, I don't really think I want the pill that badly. But I think I will go 
And I have to use my only bomb and only key to open up that golden chest. That's pretty risky. I'm not sure I'm ready to commit to that kind of risk just yet. Not desperate enough. Okay, so another bomb and key. Maybe that's a sign telling me I should do it. So let's go for it. Just put it up here. In the very, very off chance, there's a second secret room. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. A tower? You have to be kidding me. Well, I guess you can't win them all. Just hoping to win this one. Do those nice big circles. The speed upgrade is actually proven to be kind of useful. Yeah, do your thing, I'll do mine. And Brother Bobby's gonna do his thing. Very nice. And also very nice was that dime. I'll take care of that one. Okay, I'm fairly confident I actually shot in a certain direction. But if the game disagrees, well, I guess that's my... Oh. Oh. Did, did that just happen? Did I seriously just walk over spikes? It's been so long since that's happened. I can't believe it, it would actually occur in such a bad way. Oh, that's a bad start. Oh. Okay. One down. And... Not going well. Before it was going actually kind of well until I hit a few snags on the last few parts here. Let's fight the first boss. It's a Loki. Chance for an HP upgrade. And that's good news. I typically don't have any problems fighting Loki. So that's also good news. Shot speed upgrade is not optimal. I'm not gonna fight mom just yet. I am gonna go and look around for other stuff elsewhere on this floor. There's a few other rooms. None of the special rooms I really want to go to. Maybe the mob trap room, so make my way that way for now. He's there. Blue pill was nothing that I really want a part of. Oh, wonderful. This is... Well, that was nice, but... That's also pretty nice. I think maybe I went positive for health in that floor, or that room. So that's good news, but the room could have gone a lot better. Curse room still is a no, even though you can gain soul hearts in there, which is the biggest draw to it for me right now. A key for a key. You know what, why not? Sometimes you can get an extra penny out of that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Well, I think I'll get my key back. But it's not super... Well, it's not great, but... It's gonna be okay. Especially if there's a soul heart in there. But I don't think the chances of that are very high. Especially without the miter or something. Not even a good bomb. Pretty sad. Oh, didn't kill that guy in one shot. That's one of the most important things to do with these guys. And the fact that I failed to do it twice is pretty sad. Considering I've been playing this game for how long now? Oh, 
this is getting bad. Never mind, that'll clear things up. I could use one bomb and two keys to get to that, but that's not worth it. Looks like there's only going to be two rooms remaining. This one up here and the mom boss fight. Does count as a room in my books. I want to finish off this room. See if I can't get another soul heart in here. And appears that I can. This time without taking damage. A few extra bombs and a key is very nice. And I guess I'm going to be fighting Mom now in the hopes of receiving an HP upgrade. Although at this point, maybe it's best to roll with just Soul Hearts. I'm going to be getting the Polaroid. So maybe, maybe not. Red Mom. I don't really like Red Mom. I have to wait a few extra time, or an extra foot round, I'll call it, to get my charge already. Just kind of get back into the middle here. Need to do some of that. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a little bit more. Do that fancy dodge. Almost done actually. One more. Yeah, just one more. Range upgrade is definitely not the thing that I wanted. But it's what was there and got the Polaroid. Maybe that will decide the fact that I'm gonna s Ooh, that came close. Wow. I think I'd actually take my time a little bit more. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so it lost the soul hearts, but look at that. Gained one back. And also, perhaps, one of the, one of the few good, great items that I could really want now just came into my possession. Can this Larry Jr. give me a soul heart after beating it? Maybe. It's possible. Or it could just give me a red heart. That's possible too. Now these are the double ended things. So don't have to worry about that. The bomb and the key, I'm gonna say, is worth it if I place it right here. And it's still not worth it. Oh, that was... That was terrible. Priorities were all out of whack there. Let's fight the boss. It is death, as I could have expected after using the Book of Revelations. Not only in general, but also on this floor. Not sure if one matters or the other, but... Okay, sure, yeah, just have a homing scythe. That's not very fair. And you're done. Well, you present me with a tough choice. And... Oh, I'm going to take that. Don't really... Or can't really take any of that. Do I take the eternal hearts? I say no. Because I want to roll just soul hearts. I think that's still going to be the smartest thing for me to do. At this point. Because of that Polaroid invincibility that I gain when I do get hit. And the fact that I do have an item which allows me to gain more soul hearts throughout the game. Those are the two big reasons 
why I'm gonna roll just soul hearts. Bit of a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take apparently. No thank you. One half of that. Gotta be very vigilant for those red flies out of this guy. I like to attack you really harshly now. Oh, wonderful. Double wonderful. Okay. You guys have done enough for me. Don't want to waste too much money. Well, it's not really wasting. Spend too much money. Oh, I made that nice move on the Diglett. Only to get hit. That's a second Eternal Heart. That's slightly making me regret my decision. But not yet. Not completely. Only if there's something like a dead dove that would give you an Eternal Heart and flying. Oh, this is... Why are things going so wrong? For some reason, my dodging game is all off. It's all over the map. That's okay. Maybe I, maybe I can bring it back here. Okay, I guess I couldn't. Don't wanna. Oh, that was close. Don't wanna spend too much bombs or too many bombs because me good grammar. Because I think they'll be valuable later on, but they're also extremely valuable right now. So you know what? Just put in as many in there as I can. Duke flies. No, not gonna get. I'm gonna get bombs. Yeah, I got bombs. Check that out. I got bombs for days. Your weird red ladybug flies. Don't bother me. Only if I know they're coming. And ramp flies, not that big of a problem. I'm just debating if there's anything I sh anything else I should do, and I don't think so. That library is not going to be too valuable, but I am going to head in that direction. Oh, this is why. Bombs would have been useful. Okay. I have to play to my strengths here. And that is my crowd control ability, so taking up Fistula first is not the worst idea. Just got caught a little bit. A little bit in the crossfire there. If only I had something else. Just a boost. Oh, that could cost me. Just to boost the usefulness of this book of revelations. Then I think I'd have a real strong run. Empress is good. I think I'll stick with the devil for now. Oh, death. We meet once again. I did a half decent number on me last time. So let's not let that happen again. I know you're champion version. And you're supposed to be tougher and all, but... Let's try and keep it down to zero hits here. That's a good start. And just watch the pony. Okay, if you want to stop inching closer towards me, that would be fantastic. Because otherwise that's going to have to happen. Oh, that was shameful use. On Brimstone. And that was almost just as bad there. But luckily those were only almost and nothing bad actually happened. Okay, you're in a loop. And that's exactly where I want you to be. The Emperor card's actually looking pretty good right about now. 
Taking that thing to the chest would have been awesome. But I don't have it. I have... I had made my choice early on. And now I'm going to have to stick by it. I'm actually going to go and do two more rooms. And hopefully they go well. Let's use a bomb here. Not too many other places where... Oh, that's a third Eternal Heart. Not too many other places where bombs are going to be super useful. As good as a library may be, it's not going to be what I'm after. Nothing, nothing in there really intrigues me. Maybe a Book of Sin, actually. That's fantastic. And it's an item, but it's not an item that I want. So, I guess I kind of screwed myself over a little bit. Because I opened up two locks. When I should have op only opened up one. And that is completely my fault. Oh... That's everything I was trying to avoid was getting hit. It's going to make this rush for a Book of Revelations charge useless. Unless, of course, I can find an extra soul heart along the way. That's not going to be it. And this could very well end in me getting hit like it did. So, ending up with negative health is not a good thing. Might as well use it and still play out these last few rooms here. They're going to be easier than the, the chest. So I think if I want a legitimate chance at winning the, the whole game, I gotta play out these rooms. Just to see if I can actually gain some soul hearts. I do have a few good tarot cards. I got both the Devil card and the Empress card. Okay, let's see what the Seeker Room has. I'm not sure if you can actually do anything for me. I'm pressing spacebar, nothing's happening. So the answer is no. A few more options here. Yeah, everybody at once now. Oh, come on. One's gone, and just worry about that one dodging, and then flip it on over to this side. And definitely a few close calls there. And it's going to continue to be close. But maybe not for too much longer. Let's get him going this way. I can deal with this room. I hope. Still no guarantee. It's nice to find a key. Seeing as I had screwed up earlier and used one too many before. Okay, just deal with a room that had three of you. Shouldn't be able to deal with a room that only has two. But you never know. Always gotta be on guard. Back over here. Oh yeah, sure, why? Why not? I always like taking two extra hits, you know? People say, why don't you take more hits than Isaac? And I say, well, it's because I don't want to lose. But if you want to, I'll take more hits. There's two for you right there. I've never said that to anybody. Or I don't think anybody's ever said anything along the lines of why don't you take more hits than Isaac to me. I'm tempted just to take the Eternal Hearts, but I know it's not really going to increase my odds now. Book of Shadows will increase my odds of getting past Isaac. So, as much as I would appreciate a good Book of Revelations, I think I gotta stick with I gotta stick with 
up with the shadows here. Bad use of brimstone. I'm gonna back off now. Back off real early. Try to get that sacrificial dagger working. But things are going decently so far. Don't really like my setup. Mainly due to my health. If I had more health, I'd be quite proud of what I have accomplished. But perhaps I have risked too much, and then I'm just going to lose it all. It's entirely possible, but I'm sure am going to try my best here. And usually when I say that, that typically means I don't like my chances, so let me just say it out loud, plain and clear. I don't like my chances. Even still, on the third phase, haven't taken any damage, but don't like my chances. Mainly because stuff like that can happen. And when that happens, I try and use my invincibility a bit too much. But I guess I talked my way through it and managed to pull off an Isaac win. But not an official win just yet. That hopefully comes later. Let's pick that up for whatever reason. Book of Shadows, you were great. But I need some, I need more health. I can't do another boss fight like that, only taking one hit. For me, not possible. So... Let's get me some good stuff here, that's more damage. And that's more speed. That's... I'll give damage if I get hit. And that's just an eyeball floating around. I think this is destiny. There's greed here. It's a room that I feel like I can beat. Even if it is super greed. I can beat it without taking damage be one of the easier rooms in the chest so it's nice that I know it's here it'd be amazing if that's what the real purpose of the compass was for me and if I can do this I'll get one charge on the book of revelations so that's a good start and this isn't bad also Another usefulness of the compass. And what the boss room is, I don't know how to get there. I do know where it is. Okay, one's gone. Makes things more than twice as easy. Believe it or not. Up this way. Okay, pestilence. You've had your time to shine. Now it's mine, so go away. Nobody wants you here. Just like how war is kind of going away, all nice like that. You can do the same thing. Yeah. Would have been a free secret room, but I thought I used a little bit of smarts and. Okay, good. I didn't want to see bombs. I thought I used a little bit of smarts and going there first. It was a safe thing to do. Would have worked out anyways, but like I said, felt it was the safest path for me to take. Oh no, this is supposed to be another good room for me. Oh, now it's gone terribly. Oh, what has happened? Oh. Oh, this room could be the end. It could be the end. Okay, it's not the end. But this room could be the end. As sad as that is to say. I'd hate to lose the famine or pestilence. What? Pestilence? Yeah. He was rolling up on me and... I don't know. I I saw it coming, but I just couldn't really do much about it for whatever reason. It's one of those times where just your reactions let you down. And you just... Stand still and do nothing. What? I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless, and if you did, 
feel free to leave a like and you can also comment and subscribe but if you want to see more Isaac videos feel free to check out the other Binding of Isaac videos on my channel and until next time thanks for watching